obviously with three kids, you know, married mid thirties, I don't spend a lot of time gaming anymore. This is kind of, you know, igniting some interest in me as, uh, you know, it hasn't been here for a while. What's the best, what's the first uh, proof of concept game that you guys are working on? Our first proof of concept game uh, is called Gladiator Duel. It's a turn-based strategy game in which you and another player duel each other for the chance to win each other's Gladiator NFT. And, okay, I, I like this. This is awesome. What is the, uh, you know, I, obviously with three kids, you know, married, mid-30s, I don't spend a lot of time gaming anymore. Sure. Uh, but I, I did play some Call of Duty, whatever, 10, 15 years ago, uh, Call of Duty 2 or something, I don't know uh, back in college. So this is kind of, you know, igniting some interest in me as, uh, you know, it hasn't been here for a while. What is the premise of this strategy game, this gladiator game? Is it, it's a turn-based game. So is it like, you know, age of empires type thing or like a, or is it more like a first person fighting game or what, what is it? So actually the way this is going to work, I don't know if a lot of people have ever really seen a game format like this because it is based off of a, a format that was present as a kid in a game I was playing. Um, very, very indie uh, title. And people will be moving, uh, one player here, one player here, and the spectator is like the 50-yard line, right? And so they're moving horizontally towards each other, away from each other on a straight line. But there's going to be uh, some movement actions that you can perform in order to get a tactical advantage over your opponent, such as jumping behind them, pushing them away from you, turning them around so you can backstab them, that kind of thing, right? And so the way that it actually works is you'll spend your energy points uh, to, to commit actions during your turn uh, and basically trying to set yourself up in the best possible way, knowing that your opponent also has a turn coming up right after you, you know? So you have to, one... You have to attack, but you're also going to need to place yourself in the best possible uh, position to make sure you can mitigate as much damage as possible. Hey, it's Amy. Click over here to subscribe. Click over here for more content, and we'll see you next time.